Reflecting on Joe Biden's speech at the NAACP National Convention, we see a mirror of the ongoing social struggle for justice and order. Now, just because we must lower the temperature in our politics and the rate of violence, it doesn't mean we should stop telling the truth. Who you are, what you've done, what you'll do, that's fair game. As Harry Truman said, I've never delivered to giving anyone hell. I just told the truth they thought it was hell. That's what I'm going to do. Well, here's the truth about why Donald Trump's presidency was hell, black America. He tried to repeal Obamacare to kick millions, I mean millions of black Americans off their health insurance. He had a $2 trillion tax cut that overwhelmingly benefited the super wealthy, the biggest corporation. It exploded the federal debt larger than any one president has in one term. He left no room for us to do what we should be doing. The best of things that affect people's lives, like child care, elder care, and so much more, that grow the economy and help people. His mismanagement of the pandemic was especially devastating to black communities. Oh, I, mean, I know, because in other countries, other communities of color. That economic crisis drove up black unemployment, decimated small black businesses, and you peacefully protested. George Floyd's murder. Donald Trump called for the National Guard to go after him. What in the hell's the matter with this man? Well, I'm serious. Go figure. I'm a guy who spread the birth of lie against Barack Obama, saying he wasn't born in America and he wasn't a U.S. citizen. Joe Biden's pointed criticism of Donald Trump's decision to deploy the National Guard during the George Floyd protests can be intensely scrutinized. He contends that upholding law and order amidst civil unrest is vital for societal stability. His remarks may resonate deeply with those who prioritize social justice, yet alienate those who hold strong law enforcement and public order in high regard. This highlights the profound and personal responsibility inherent in the reactions to George Floyd's murder and the ensuing protests. The struggle for meaning and justice in a society perceived as unjust is a deeply individual and collective journey. Protesters' actions, driven by personal and collective subjectivity, can ignite conflict between authority and individual freedom. The left often thrives on public division rather than prioritizing public safety. Joe Biden's speech impacts various sectors of the population emotionally and psychologically. For those who protest peacefully and feel marginalized, his words can provide confirmation and empowerment. Conversely, Donald Trump supporters may feel alienated or angered, perceiving Biden's remarks as an unwarranted attack on their values and beliefs. This polarization in public response is likely to continue, with Biden's supporters and the Black Lives Matter movement feeling encouraged and empowered by his firm stance against Trump and his administration. Meanwhile, Trump supporters may become more defensive reinforcing their loyalty to Trump. Understanding these emotional reactions is crucial for fostering dialogue and reconciliation. The media's portrayal and amplification of Biden's speech can be criticized for potential bias, influencing public awareness and deepening social divisions. Calls for balanced, responsible, and honest reporting are essential so the public can gain a nuanced understanding of the issues at hand.